Hello there, Amber with leftwithasmile.com, helping you on your journey to getting more nutrition into your body and getting rid of those sugar cravings. So I have lots of videos. I hope you'll check them all out so you can be on your way to just a healthier lifestyle. So today I am going to share with you one of my favorite things to drink that has helped me be healthier. Uh, first, why do you want to drink this? Most people, when I talk about kombucha, they're like, what are you talking about? Well, you might have seen jars like this at the grocery store. Um, they're starting to pick up in their popularity and they're popular because it's a probiotic, which means it helps your digestive system. It also helps to detoxify your body. Kombucha is great for your immune system. It boosts energy because it's full of vitamins and enzymes. It helps fight cancer, helps joint pain, weight loss. So you'll want to drink it. It's good stuff. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you were to go to the store and buy this, three to five dollars. Oh, it's expensive, but you can make it for so cheap. And so I'm going to teach you how. Now, traditionally, kombucha is made with black tea or green tea. I have been searching for an, uh, an herbal tea recipe that would work because I only drink herbal tea. And it's also great if you want to make something that is naturally caffeine free. So uh, it, making kombucha can be tricky if you're experimenting a lot. But I just wanted to make this very basic. If you follow these instructions that I give you, you're gonna have success. And after you feel confident, then you can go look at all the intimidating <laughs> and experimental videos about making kombucha out there. But I'm just gonna keep it with the basics. I, I was intimidated to make kombucha for a long time because I don't know, I feel like if you make your own kombucha, you it's some sort of health nut rite of passage. You're, you're truly just just a weird health nut person if you're making kombucha. <laughs> so, oh well, I guess I'm there, I've arrived. And if your kids think you're weird, then you know you're doing a good job. All my kids think I'm weird, but they drink the kombucha and they like it. So there you go, you must be doing something right. So first I wanna show you the kombucha that I already have uh, made. It's been sitting in the corner of my pantry with this cloth over it. And um, kombucha starts with a SCOBY, symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast. Doesn't it sound delicious, right? I wanna show you what a SCOBY looks like. It's kind of gross looking. My kids are like, what is that, mom? But it makes a really yummy drink. So first you need a scoby and you can get that from a friend who makes kombucha because every time you make a batch of, scoop of kombucha you create an additional scoby. I want to show you what this whole jar looks like you know lots of yummy floaties in there that's okay that's the good stuff. So um, the easiest way to get a scoby if you don't have a weird health nut friend like myself is to just get it online. You can get everything online these days. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave you a link uh, to get a SCOBY. Only seven bucks online is not that expensive. So get your SCOBY first. And there's a couple other things that you're going to need. You're going to need to make your herbal kombucha, elderberries and rose hips. Now, uh, kombucha is the, your SCOBY is very particular. There's things you can do that will commit SCOBY murder. And one of those is putting the wrong herbs in your kombucha. So just stick with what you know. The elderberries and the rose hips are going to work. And it's a very fruity, delicious taste. So you'll love them. Uh, okay, so all you need to do is get a gallon of distilled water put it in a pot and boil that and add one tablespoon of your elderberries and 
two tablespoons of rose hips. Once it boils, just turn it off, add those in, and just let it sit until it cools. You're also going to add in one and one quarter cup of sugar. Now, yes, I just said I'm helping you get off sugar and now I'm telling you to add a one and a quarter cup sugar to your kombucha. Oh no, he spilled my heart. Don't worry. <laughs> That's what feeds this cute little scoby. Scoby likes sugar. And so as you're letting this sit and ferment, <laughs> It, it's eating that, that's what's keeping the scoby alive in the, is the sugar, so do not skip the sugar, okay? Say that one more time, one gallon distilled water, one tablespoon elderberries, two table, tablespoons rose hips, one and one quarter cup sugar, and let it cool. Now, once it's cool, you want to start with your scoby and at least one cup or two cups of kombucha. So just run to the store and buy yourself some kombucha for your first batch and then you won't have to buy it again. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the scoby out and I am going to dump all of this except for two cups into a new jar. And then I'm gonna take uh, the herbal tea that I just made when it's nice and cool and then pour it in here and then all I'm gonna do is cover it up, put a rubber band over it, and I'm gonna put it somewhere out of direct sunlight. I put it in the corner of my pantry, and I'm just gonna let it sit for seven to 10 days. Depends on the, the flavor you like. It kind of carbonates, it makes it zippy. So if you like it more mild tasting, then you'll stop the fermentation after seven days. If you want it a little more zippy, then you'll wait for 10 days. I like the taste of it at 10 days, but just taste it and see what you like. Um, another thing that you're gonna wanna do is you can flavor your kombucha after you take it out of, away from the scoby when it's ready to drink. I love the ginger, ginger flavor. So I chopped up some ginger and I'm gonna put it in this jar. And then I'm just gonna pour the finished kombucha that's been sitting for 10 days into this jar and then just put it in my fridge and drink it. Yum! Uh, so, easy peasy, right? Uh, I, like I said, I'm gonna leave links for everything you need um, just below this video. If you have any questions, just leave your questions and I can get them answered. I promise if you follow this recipe, you're gonna have success. You're gonna love it, it's delicious. And you're gonna get all those benefits from drinking it. So check out my blog, leftwithasmile.com, for more tips on di ditching the sugar. You can also subscribe to my newsletter, and you will get more freebies, shopping lists, and recipes, and uh, more tips in my routine to help me avoid sugar cravings, and I'm sure will help you. So be sure to subscribe. If this video was helpful to you, be sure to share it. Share the love, and enjoy your kombucha. Tell me how it goes after you make your first batch. All right, have a great day. Love you guys.